Hey, is you still you still writing music though? Right. Mm. Well, you know your talent, man. If you if you see if you would have came out here to the shop, at least for a week or two, you could have you could have uh, made a name for yourself out here. You know what I'm saying? And then you. you but that but that but that's that's street shit. People was getting their shit pushed back when you was 22 and 25 and 26 too though, right? So why would you think anything would change though? Like if you if you not in the streets, if you not in the streets then you ain't got to worry about that. Um yes, that guy was in the streets. He was right down the nickel. Uh, the nickel ain't changed. If you go on the nickel right now, uh, at the back of the block, down there where he live at, there's a lot of activity going on. Um, he wasn't with him when he got killed. I'm pretty sure of that, but uh, I don't. I think it's almost like you got one brother that's mild, and then you got one brother that's hot. That's probably why they call them hot, 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 hot rod. Yeah. So, you know, you got brothers on that block too. Some of them was more grimier than the other ones so i'm gonna assume that um that younger brother was a little bit more grimier than the older brother so i'm i'm a, i'm a, I, and i'm even i'm even gonna assume that um uh he probably put in some work himself so i'm i'm, I'm gonna assume that he got himself in some shit that he couldn't get out of and then I'm going to assume that he wasn't ready for whatever he was coming to him. And then I'm going to assume that he got too comfortable in his environment. So, so I'm going to make a lot of assumptions here. And I'm going to tell you that the neighborhood has not changed. You got, you got people who done got a little bit older. You got a new generation come up. And they with the shit just like you was with the shit when you used to bust your gun every time you got upset. So why would anything be any different? You feel me? Don't you don't you think don't you don't you think it's more e murders out there? Don't you think it's more people who's willing to take those chances? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. There's hundreds of thousands of people out there that's willing to take those homicidal chances to commit homicide. It's a hundred thousand men. It's a million men that think just like you. That's that's willing. That that's willing. That's willing to bust their gun to get their point across. And guess what, bro? Guess what, bro? You don't survive that shit all the time. So just think just. But think about this though. Think about surviving the trenches. Think about people who survive the trenches. They become enemies too. Like older people. Let's just say we survive the trenches through our twenties and thirties, and then boom, in your forties you get killed. Like why does that happen? Because survivors of the trenches become enemies of the trenches also. The op game don't stop because your friends, you and your friends become ops to each other. Now y'all done, y'all done defeated all the other ops, the ones that's from other blocks and other neighborhoods and other cities and all that type of shit. Think about it. You 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 survived the ops when you was young, right? You had ops when you lived on 104th. You survived the ops when you was in Cincinnati. You survived all the ops air all over everywhere, and then you get knocked off by a survivor of your own neighborhood. The same thing that happened to Nipsey Hussle. That ain't, that, that ain't got nothing to do with it. It's all about the energy that you put out. Like, if you're in the hundreds and you're in your neighborhood right there, as long as you're not competing with those younger lions and you stand in your own lane, you can, it's people that survive out here, bro. Because you... 
Yeah. Okay then. So the moral of the story is to mind your business, right? You can make you don't listen. You don't want to tell what you tell. You probably don't even remember that. You told me. What's up, girl? You told me almost 15 years ago. As long as you got a pistol in a pack, you can make it anywhere. Did you not tell me that? You say, "G, as long as you got a pistol in a pack." You can make it anywhere in any city. I told you, I said, I told you, I said, that's stupid. You told me, I said, that's stupid. I'm going to go to the wild one. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you have gave me has been nasty about your life. Listen, listen, this is what we're going to do, right? Yeah. Only thing I need you to do is stay out here for two days, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we can create. So we could so we could create some content. You know what I'm saying? We could we could create some content downtown. I need you either in High Park or downtown in a hotel somewhere for two days, and you can go back out to Iowa, bro. But you need to come out here for two days, bro, and you need to make that happen, bro. Even if you gotta get on the mega bus or whatever you gotta do, and make sure you book you a, a room somewhere for two days, bro, two hundred dollars or something like that. Huh? Uh, and like this. So about these what happened to your pimping, man? Uh, this ain't the same. Is this not? Like, is, I don't give a shit about all this. Right. I know your pimp. I know your pimping don't do. Do your pimping stink right now, man? Tell me the truth. Bro. Yeah. Well, what? Okay. 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 So here's the deal, right? Now, the, the, what we trying to do is we trying to create some content, right? Because exactly. So here's the deal. We need to create the car. I just need some. I need a. I need five stories out of you. I need five of your top stories out of you, and I need to upload them. And I need to let the world know who you is, because right now I'm running a campaign. You feel me? So I need five of your greatest stories from Cincinnati to 104th to to the South Side of Chicago to. All the different places you done been, all the money you done made, all the, the women you done had. I need all that shit from you. I need an e-murder story so I can send it to my creators down in Cincinnati and they can embellish it a little bit. And we'll have like, like, we, we, I, I will make you legendary, man. You know what I'm saying? You can tell me like, all, all the, you can tell me about all the nine piece dinners you done flipped. All the blicks you'd have had, all the cars you'd have had when you used to pimp when you was young. I want a fascinating story from you, a few stories for you so I can upload it and and, and, and let the world know who E Murder is. The main thing I, I you gonna I want the main thing I want to hear in this story is how you started off on 104th on like some boys in the hood type shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, the Trey Place. On the Trey Place, I mean. On the 103rd Place. My bad. The Trey Place. Right. And then, and then when you jumped off the porch. And once you then you just go from there. How you got on? How you how you had your trap? How you had the um the 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 the, the. man? You say how you say all that? How you had the bar? Remember you had the wood bars on the door? You know what I'm saying? You had the dogs. You know what I'm saying? You had the dice game going. You always kept your blick in the dice game. You know what I'm saying? You were serving while you were shooting dice at the same time, ducking the law. 
You know what I'm saying? You weren't like, you weren't, you like, like when you got on, like, you weren't no hoe. Like, I remember you when you got on, bro. Like, when you jumped down, you weren't no hoe. You kept a bang on. You like, motherfucker, motherfucker wasn't trying to try you. You know what I'm saying? You had, you had some spark to you. You feel me? So, you know, I mean, I don't know what you and, you and B-Way had going on. So here's the deal, right? I, I could tell you some, I could tell you something else you told me. When we was about 18 and 19, we were still on the block. Now you was on the block more than I was because I was going to school. I was still I was going to college, I was going to Olive Harvey. And uh you was like, I'm like, folks, I'm going to school, bro. Like, you like, man. I'm like, why you don't come up there and go to school and shit? You like, man. You like, man, them hoes gonna be like, you broke as hell, bro. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, it was funny. But it was real, but that's not what they thought because they was all college students too. But that just let me know though, though how deep you was into your grind though. You feel me? Like you weren't tripping off no college or nothing like that. And you were smarter than me probably. You feel me? I'm talking about back then. You was you was trapped out, you was thugged out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You was in the money game in your late 19, 20. You know what I'm saying? 18, 19, 20. Until you went out of town and all that shit. But here's the deal, though, right? So, those, those are the type of stories I need from you. Okay, well, at, at the end of that, you're going to explain that. But you're going to contribute that to the game, though. You're going to contribute that to lo- a lack of sleep. You're going to contribute that to uh, uh, eating unhealthy. You're going to contribute that to to smoking a lot of weed, to drinking drinks, to possibly somebody putting something in your drink. You're going to have to, you're going you're gonna to embellish all that shit. You're not just going to say, well, this and this and this and that. You're going to make it fun and interesting. And, and you're going to describe the pitfalls. You're going you're gonna to describe the... Now we need to talk about this shit. We need to sit down and talk about this shit, bro. We gotta have a cocktail. You gotta have you some weed so you can blow. And all that type of shit, bro. You just gotta find a way to get down here and get back, bro. That's all. That's it. You don't even. You can. You listen. Listen. You. This, this how you gonna have to run it off, though. You get your pimping back going, right? You got an interview in Chicago that you need to do. You can either do a GoFundMe for the interview. So I'm finna just step your pimping back up, right? You can either do a GoFundMe or you can talk to your so You can talk to any fan with anybody. You got an interview set up. You need to be able to stay in a hotel downtown for two days. And you need a round trip back to Iowa in two days. You, need, you got 48 hours you need to be down here because you need to do an interview. You need to do it on a Saturday evening. We need to be posted up somewhere downtown or in High Park and do this interview by the lake or somewhere downtown. By Oak Street, somewhere like that. If you get the hotel downtown, we can do the interview by Navy Pier or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So you need to raise the money. Now you got to get back into fundraising. You always was getting money, so get back into. You need to conduct this interview. This is your interview that's gonna that's gonna control your legacy and your narrative about you and who you was and who you became and how what was the pitfalls and the aftermath for everything that you went through. You need this interview, bro. All right, but let me chop it up with cuz right quick, and let me know when you gonna when you when you put that shit together, bro. All right, one hundred, G.